And I've been a lot of places. Really. Um, a friend of ours from uh, overseas was visiting with us recently, and we were, I brought this, this issue up. And she said to me, well, she described it as in a way that I really hadn't thought about before. She just looked at me and said, they're just absent. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're absent. <clears throat> and actually, I hadn't really thought about that issue for years. I just hadn't. And then one day it just dawned on me, like, what are they? What is this? You know? um, so the question, of course, is how come? Why? Why is, why is the situation like this? Well, the church, unfortunately, has not made it a place of rest and comfort for the artists. That's why. And artists are not stupid people. They're not uh, feeling this and stupid and ignorant and whatever. I mean, they know what's going on. And most of them are, I, all the ones I know in the professional art world are highly intelligent people. And really savvy. And they know business, they know how to do things, they know how to get things done. I mean, there were a few that, you know, had a lot of problems to deal with and stuff. But, really. And so the whole issue of the church and getting saved and stuff was like, to me in places and, and, and say to me, I mean, maybe they were one and they just didn't want to admit it, but they would say to me, as you're, you're still creative, right? Oh, oh, it, it hasn't gone away, right? You're, you're still, you still make stuff, right? <laughs> Because they're, they're somehow convinced by all of the rhetoric, all of the bad teaching, all of the, the prescriptions, all the stuff that has been piled in, piled in, piled in, that, well, you can't get redeemed and be in the church and, and be inventive and crazy and wild and think funny things and wear wild colors. And do all, you can't do all that. Except for this church. I was going to say, that's not right here. <laughs> Six months, and then you have to prophesy to them in terms of like two years, and then do that. You can say they'll let you just keep going. You know, however far you feel you've got the faith to prophesy into their future. Wow. Wow. Um, but you know, and the stuff that we go, you got to take ownership for it. That's right. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, if you and by your time you're 45, you'll be a billionaire. And the time passes, and the guy comes back. I'm not a billionaire. That's <coughs> wrong. You know. Uh. Um, uh -huh. So, what it does is it puts an edge on fooling around playing games and doing yeah. real stuff. Yeah. Um, but I'm going 
going to make a prediction. I'm going to say that in five years from today, the explosion of arts in the church is going to be so spectacular. The whole world's going to know about it. Yes. Whether or not the whole rest of the church is participating in it or not. It yes. will be news stories. Yes. yes. It will. Yes. The, you know, funny little CBS yes. news item or whatever oh. on the internet. Reality show. Yeah. The, yes, yeah. The reality <laughs> shows. <laughs> the Lord yes. told me that five years ago yes. that there would be there would be a, a reality show. I actually know of two that they were talking about that would be following creative Christians who are using that are in the arts and the and, and because Hollywood's run out of ideas. They have no more ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas about five years ago, but they've been rehashing things, and now they're down to Lego. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the remake of Robo. God's going to give us some ideas. Keep going. Five years. How? Five years. So, 2019? significantly important. I can't emphasize it enough. If you're going to be an artist, you've got to be an artist all the time. You have to work at it. You have to practice, practice, practice. No matter who's watching, no matter if you're going to get 50000 for it or five bucks, you still have to practice. We should, you know, this has already been gone around the globe a hundred times already also. <clears throat> You're supposed to be the most inventive, the most this, that, other thing, and the richest people on the planet. It's supposed to be the church. Well. <laughs> Tell it like it is. Those who are underachievers. And what's holding it up? I don't think it's him. No. 
Barnabas go, well, it's the devil. But you know what? God is not intimidated by him, and neither should you be. Right. That's good. The devil's tactic is always to get you to agree with his argument against you and your ability and your gift. Every time, that's, that's what it's about. To convince you, you can't do it, you're not good enough, you're not fast enough, you're not, whatever. Every time, that's what it, he'll throw that in. And it's all a lie. <coughs> it's a misdirection, it's a misconception, it's, a, it's baloney. You have the mind of Christ. The Holy Spirit is a genius at all things. No. And he raised Jesus from the dead. That's power. Oh. That's authority. He is described in the scripture as the helper. If he's the helper, and I've got the mind of Christ, and he helps. I have asked him on many occasions, what do I do, how do I solve it? I get help. He doesn't go, don't bother me, I'm on a phone call. You know, like, <laughs> You got to step into your authority, your place, yeah. do what you do, and do it the best you can. Amen. If all you can do is draw a stick figure, yes. then you better darn well be the best stick figure drawing person <laughs> on the planet. Really? Yeah. 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 That's what it comes down to. Oh. Because the enemy is all about trying to convince you, no, you just draw stick figures. That will never make it. That will never do it. That will never do it. Are you kidding me? That's not true either. <coughs> okay, so I'm sounding a little frustrated. But, um, some of you just need some encouragement. So believe it or not, that's what I'm trying to do. He's <laughs> saying, I feel your pain, however. Yeah, so there are probably some of you that uh, got told some time ago, well, you can't do this, you just mess that up, and you'll never make this, you'll never make it. all that kind of stuff. Well, we've already been talking about how most of that stuff's a lie anyway. So all of you people who are sitting here tonight who might be feeling that way about yourself and any inventive, I said inventive, I didn't say creative, I said inventive <laughs> gift that you might be thinking that you have, you should just acknowledge that. Some, and some. then we are going to help you along. We're going to release some stuff for you. Mm -hmm. and Get Sometimes it going again. life just happens. Yeah. <clears throat> life happens. You have children. And the time just isn't there. Oh. And then too much time has gone by and you think, oh, it's over. Mm -hmm. Or you have a job that's really demanding. And you don't have any strength when you get home. Mm -hmm. But the season goes on too long. It's too hard to get back. Right. But you know yeah. what? It ain't over till it's over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so all you got to do is just stand up and go... I want my gift back. Yes. Yes. It never really left, but I want to enjoy it again. And I'm going on. It does not matter how old you are. Mm -hmm. It does not matter. Mm -hmm. It does not matter. You know why the art of the church has to change? Mm -hmm. You think I'm jumping off the subject, don't you? But I, no. uh, <laughs> because if it doesn't change, from what we're... Most of us who are involved with this and know anything about it and have been in three churches where there's some art hanging up or it's going on, look at it and go, golly, this looks just like the stuff I saw down in Dodo and Dida. What, like, what is this? It, well, it's a bunch of self-referential symbolism. Yeah. It's the church talking to itself endlessly over and over and over and over and over and over and over. About the same thing, the same way, over and over and over and over. And what happens is the people who come in, maybe they're visiting from 
Dallas, and they come up here and they walk into your church one Sunday with you visiting their grandparents or whatever, and they look around and they say, oh, same thing, oh. They begin to believe that's all there is. Right. Yeah. They think that's it. Yeah. They think that's the whole voice in the arts of the church today. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You can't, you can't fool me. I've seen it. I've seen it in San Francisco. I've seen it in California. I've seen it here, there, everywhere. It all looks the same. I know what it is. I know what it looks like. And they're deceived. And the religious sit there and they're justified. <laughs> they're just... I'm bored. <laughs> so, that's, that's one reason why. Right. Um, so, want to be part of the change? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. Yes. Because you can, make, you can make a choice. You can sit around and make the same old boring, 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 boring stuff endlessly. <laughs> that hundreds of other people are already doing over and over. <laughs> or you can get up and go, no, I want to be part of where this is supposed to go <laughs> and do something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's our choice. That's what we get. Yeah. I think, I think um, the things that really touch you are made from, I mean, all you really have to do is work with your life and God's life in you. And if you're working from a deep enough part in you, it's going to speak to somebody else. I think but, that is possibly. But so it's what's called finding your voice <coughs> or finding your vision, and sometimes that takes a while to find that. You know, you have to go from. Yeah. I mean, that's a growth thing too, and yeah. it's it's how how deep inside of you you have that desire to express that. Right. A lot of us. You're essentially correct. A lot of us, maybe you're, you're doing zippity doo dah, really good watercolors and all the, in your head, you know, this is really Right? But nobody else thinks so. They'll go, oh yeah. Can't sell any of them. Well, it's entirely possible you're just doing the wrong thing. That's all. Maybe you're supposed to be an oil painter, not a watercolor painter. Maybe you're supposed to be a sculptor, not a painter at all. Some of us are confused about some of this stuff because of what she was talking about. Sometimes it takes. Oh, what is this? Not every one of us gets born with the, with the bah, you're going to be a painter, you know, and jump up at four years old and start painting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and I've known guys that actually never even got started until they were like, And a lot of very well-known people in at least contemporary history, well, not a lot, but some were actually older before they really got going what they're doing. I mean, it does take time. For some years. But a lot of this stuff can be cleared up rather quickly. That's what the Lord is doing. That's what's going on. That's how the changes are going to happen. That's how, in five years, it's going to be a bigger <coughs> so to speak, than it is. Um, so. Issue the call. Yeah. Issue the call. Would anybody like to acknowledge? Would you please come up and can you join us as well?